In this example, we're going to evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of the function e to the x minus 1 minus x over x squared. Now, this does have an indeterminate form. It looks like 0 over 0, right? Because as x goes to 0, we get a 1 right here. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then if you plug in a 0, you get a 0 all over 0 squared. So this thing does have this indeterminate form 0 over 0. And while L'Hopital's rule is actually a quite, a quite slick way of computing this one, I, I want to present an alternative method that will make some sense why we're doing it in just a moment. And it's not, because the point of this one's not actually to compute the limit, but to kind of see why the limit is what it is, right? L'Hopital's rule, I, I, students get so good at computing that sometimes think they forget why it actually works. And so I want to offer another perspective here. And we're going to do this using the Maclaurin series for e to the x, which looks like the sum n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. And if you write this in expanded form, this is going to look like, well, and I'll, I'll just do it down below here. So this limit, right, we're taking the limit as x approaches 0. Now, e to the x is equal to its Maclaurin series for any value of x, particularly when you get close to 0. And as such, you could replace e to the x with its Maclaurin series. So you get 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6 plus x to the 4th over 24, etc. And then you're subtracting from that 1, subtracting from that x over x squared, right? And so look at some cancellation there. We have a minus 1, minus 1. That's the first term in the, 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 the Maclaurin series. You have a negative x, minus x right here. And so when you cancel those things from the numerator, you end up with the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6 plus x squared over 24, right? And then we get, uh, that should be a 4 right there. We get x to the 5th over 120, continue on. This all sits above x squared, all right? So notice here, when you subtract the 1 and subtract the x, right? The thing on top, it looks like it's a Maclaurin series that starts with a quadratic term. And so when you look at this thing, as x approaches 0, right, we've done many limits where x approaches infinity. I'm like, oh, you look at the, the biggest term on top and bottom. But when x is approaching 0, you actually kind of want to look at the smallest term on top and bottom, which the dominant term as you approach x equals 0 will be x squared on top and x squared on bottom. So with this perspective using the Maclaurin series, we actually see that as x approaches 0, this function is a balanced rational function, x squared on top and bottom. And to help us compute this thing, right, we're going to factor out an x squared from the top. You factor out an x squared, that leaves behind 1 half plus x over 6 plus x squared over 24 plus x cubed over 120. That's enough. Go on. We have an x squared on the bottom. This factor out x squared on top cancels with the one on the bottom. And so we just get... 1 half plus x over 6 plus x squared over that. Now, as x goes to 0, all of these terms that have multiples of x to it will cancel. And we see that this thing is equal to 1 half. And so that gives us the correct calculation. The limit here is equal to 1 half. Um, had we tried to do this using L'Hopital's rule, we would have done instead with the top, we would have gotten e to the x minus 1 over 2x as x goes to 0. And as you plug in 0, you would still get... 1 minus 1 over 0, which is still indeterminate form. So you have to do L'Hopital's rule twice, in which case then you get the limit as x approaches 0. You're going to get e to the x over 2. And now as x approaches 0, you're going to get 1 half. So I definitely say that the L'Hopital approach gives you a much cleaner approach, right? It, it's a shorter calculation. I agree with you on that. But one thing you don't see from L'Hopital's rule is that e to the x minus 1 minus x is essentially a quadratic power series. That is, this is a balanced rational function, which you don't necessarily see when you do the L'Hopital's rule. And so when you start realizing that functions, these continuous functions like e to the x are these infinite polynomials, you start to realize that in some ways they behave like polynomials. And so this actually is a rational function. And the way we handle this would have been exactly like we handled any other rational function. Um, and so that, that's a quite interesting observation right there. And we'll see some other things like this in future videos as well.